So there's this bond that can be forged between people and animals, I believe. And I, I don't know why, but I just find it easier to relate or or that way I'm sad, I want to be in the presence of animals and nature rather than like, for example, in a crowded place with many people around. So uh, my name is Rachel. I'm currently 28 years old. I'm a wildlife ecologist and I have a passion for wildlife and conservation and one of my favorite groups of animals are the wildcats. So I, I volunteer with SWAG during my free time. Um, SWAG is called Singapore Wildcat Action Group. And uh, we've been doing that for a while now. But of course, after some time, we realized that we were doing a lot for tiger conservation overseas. Um, but we really weren't doing anything for leopard cat conservation in Singapore, even though we call ourselves Singapore Wildcat Action Group, right? A lot of people wants to be able to have the experience of you know seeing a leopard cat in real life. But granted, it's difficult. I would say around Singapore, we have less than fifty leopard cats altogether. Um, Andrew is going to do a briefing, safety briefing, like he usually does. Andrew. Okay. Thank you very much. I guess it's one of those rare few parks that has leopard cats that's open to public at night. We've spotted many different other animals and there are really a lot of cool animals that you can find on Pulau Ubin. For example, there's the greater mouse deer that within Singapore can only be found in Pulau Ubin. And at night, we also use UV torches and sometimes we can find scorpions as well. So you also get to see sleeping birds. The sleeping birds are really cute. <laughs> it all comes together with the thrill of, of actually trying to find the animal as well because you put in effort, you go for a walk, you are shining into the dark, you don't know what you will find. And so whatever that comes out will end up like as a surprise and that's very fun for everybody. I saw my first leopard cat during the cat walk as well in Malaysia and was in the oil palm plantation that we caught the eye shine of a leopard cat. I just find it so charming that like, you know, leopard cats are such a small cat. If you look at a picture of a leopard cat, the way that their eyes uh, stare directly into the camera sometimes, it is really captivating. Many, many different wild cats fascinates me, but leopard cats will hold a special place in our heart because leopard cat is the last wild cat that we have in Singapore. But people don't know about leopard cats in Singapore. We thought it would be really cool if we can do a mural with Mural Lingo and we will let this be a community mural where people can come and be a part of the painting process. Sometimes like, I do ask myself the question as well, like do more people knowing necessarily means I'm protecting them? You cannot say like, oh, because one person know I managed to protect one leopard cat. It's often not the case. It's more of a long-term effort. Because we are surrounded by this group of people, they are very passionate about wildcat conservation. Whatever we do, we don't really feel that we are alone. So this team, team feeling, sometimes it's like a family, you know, working for a common goal together. It's really heartening. Mm -hmm.